Hello. Hello, everybody. This is, um, I'm from uh, Aritech. My name is Sonika Solomon. I'm Aritech, uh, from, from Aritech. Aritech is a Bangalore-based company, started operation in 2015 with two major SaaS products, EasySend and Aritech. EasySend is more focused on uh, SME and SMB businesses. And Aritech is more focused on the mid-enterprise and enterprise. And uh, we have a uh, um, couple of uh, companies that we have a product platform which we which used by 2000 plus companies across the globe. And from January 2020, we started deep into India and Southeast Asia market. A couple of brands um, use Aritech platform products, including about Media Prime, Reliance, Protec, Cinex, and like that. There are uh, more products in the product ecosystem in Aritech, which is Aritech Pinpoint, Aritech Sales CRM, Aritech Desk, which is more of multi-channel service and support center, Aritech Mail for transaction email delivery, Aritech Swan for internal uh, workplace by Aritech Team Collaboration, Aritech Press, and Aritech Socials. So till now in uh, 2019, we have uh, launched Easy Sendy. Eretic Pinpoint, Sales CRM, Eretic Desk, Eretic Swarm, and Eretic Mail. And we will be launching soon our Eretic Press, Social, and Meet. And likewise, we will be more working on the Eretic Analytics also. So this platform, we have started the webinar uh, with the platform called Eretic Live, which is also a part of, which is a part of Eretic platform. Eretic Live is more about online talk show recognized for marketing, sales, and business development. This talk show will be including webinars, webcasts, podcasts, live events for Eretic and partner network. This, the aim of Eretic Live is to connect with more people, uh, in, gather information from all over the world, and, and uh, exchange knowledge through webinars and podcasts so that we can also um, meet and uh, see, see people. So that is all about our company, and I will like to welcome uh, today's speaker, Ankit Prakash. He is the co-founder of Aritech. He has a depth knowledge in, in, in innovating planning and uh, a strategic product platform in mid-enterprise and SMEs. And he will be sharing uh, his knowledge on lead scoring. So that, uh, and he will be talking about how to implement effective lead scoring system in B2B. So I welcome Ankit. And you will be uh, talking, and I will let you now share your screen and uh, um, say it. hello. Ankit? Yep. Uh, thank you, Sonika, for the introduction. As Sonika has explained our, about our parent company and the product platforms, our product our parent company data is software private limited is into uh, more of marketing sales and bd uh, led brand platforms which are on heretic and easy sandy brands uh, here uh, today we have planned to uh, drive the session uh, more on lead scoring system for b2b leads and how we have implemented these lead scoring system on our own platform so most of these lead scoring system are available on our website that is on aritic.com uh, if somebody is visiting our website uh, they are uh, going through all these lead scoring uh, system where we are measuring all of the visitors all of the registered contacts and all of the leads into our application system on marketing automation so uh, we thought of having discussion on lead scoring system for b2b leads where we could see uh, we have uh, majority of uh, uh, lead scoring abilities on our platform that starts with a methodology uh, that is used by the marketing and sales team to analyze and determine the quality of leads based on the interests the interactions which is being done by the visitors and the leads, those who come into the funnel of marketing and sales uh, through website, through mobile apps, through email, or through any of the contact channel for a company. So uh, all these lead scoring methods, you can imagine it's more like uh, achieving numbers, which you always get a number in terms of, you know, if you are playing a game, you get a scores. So we also score all these uh, contacts those who are coming into the funnel into our business interaction uh, where we have uh, a scoring of uh, the essentials uh, like 
how do we allow and team to understand the interest of the leads then the lead scoring also helps to save time for both marketing and sales on specific leads uh, followed by that we have lead scoring uh, that helps to prioritize the leads for sales operations and for marketing operations so these are a couple of use cases where the lead scoring is being used uh, moving further the lead scoring models which our application implements or you can implement are based on geography so for example if you have a couple of leads coming from different geographies or different locations you can implement the lead scoring then uh, you can start measuring what is the quality of the lead what is the quality of uh, uh, the interaction with the lead which all places they are visiting so here you can see we you can interact with the information that is based on the operation type you can uh, start analysis of their online behavior so you can start analysis of their lead engagement through different campaigns if you are running any of the social media campaigns any of the email campaign or any of the sms campaign you can implement all of the lead scoring models on single platform uh, through which you can measure the effectiveness of these leads uh, on this uh, we have uh, how you can uh, work with the uh, lead scoring effectively so uh, you can see we have marketing and sales both under uh, under single discussion panel where they uh, where they target audiences before the engagement then uh, we plan to give uh, points to the leads uh, for each action in marketing and sales funnel uh, followed by that each action of the leads can collect can be scored negative or positive and then all the leads can be considered as a hot prospect or cold prospect based on the interactions. So this is how the lead scoring uh, works effectively for whole of the lead scoring. Uh, we have uh, methods to track the action of the leads. So for example, if, uh, if you are going to track the action of the leads from the website, from different landing pages, from different ads, yes, everything is possible uh, out here where you can track, you can keep an eye on the page, which you can visit, which, the, which the, your prospects are visiting, your leads are visiting, you can monitor the uh, lead search behavior, how they are searching on Google, or if they are searching something on your website. So based on these, you can track all these actions on the websites on the websites where you have implemented the lead scoring models uh, wished some of the best practices which we thought of implementing uh, when uh, we are doing lead scoring are like giving a uh, lead the negative scores so some of the examples that covers giving the negative scores is for example if your leads are not at all interacting for uh, last two weeks or they are not picking up call or they are not engaging in any of the email conversations you can automatically put negative scores so these are uh, really good uh, active practices and very, uh, very disciplined practices to keep on scoring leads based on their inactivities and their interactions with different products, different services on the website. If a couple of the leads, they are interacting with certain uh, contents on the website which are inclined towards certain products or services uh, offered from the company, then uh, these scores can be captured uh, from the websites and uh, scores can be given automatically. So you can set up a lead scoring threshold also uh, for the uh, for the team before you pass on uh, the lead from the marketing to the sales team as from the funnel. Uh, these kind of lead scoring uh, methods can be uh, built up uh, using application. Uh, then we have uh, predictive uh, lead scoring. So you can see uh, predictive lead scoring uh, collects new information and gathers large amount of data from the significant sources. So uh, using predictive lead scoring, uh, you can uh, you can collect uh, large information on the contacts, those who are coming into the funnel, and then based on those information, you can uh, you can take next action like uh, triggering any kind of email campaigns, any kind of communications, any kind of uh, uh, notifications to the leads. Then uh, the predictive uh, lead scoring systems uh, also leads and identifies uh, potential prospects. So the sales team, uh, it helps the sales team to discover the prospects uh, using the predictive lead scoring model. 
here we have uh, some of the killer lead scoring models uh, which is going to help you like uh, align the objectives of the marketing and sales team before you start scoring the leads who are uh, coming on your website coming on your uh, marketing funnel uh, then uh, you can start doing implicit and explicit uh, lead scoring uh, based on their data given by the leads then uh, you can keep the score to the leads based on their online behavior. If they are visiting certain pricing pages, certain documents, certain uh, product pages, then based on that different uh, lead scores and lead points can be given to the leads. Uh, followed by that, we have uh, a score based uh, demographics, demographics uh, based on the, your target sales locations or sales partner locations. You can uh, score them, give them more. You can uh, do negative lead scoring if uh, they have uh, negative uh, lead scoring practices. Uh, it is always better to understand the psychology of the potential leads. So. Uh, why not start uh, with a potential uh, target uh, target audiences when we are targeting them through uh, through marketing funnels we we have we should understand their psychology and we should better understand what they are doing online what kind of search they are originating online what kind of behaviors they are uh, showing in social media and and uh, what kind of uh, actions they are performing what kind of discussions they are doing on different forums or different websites uh, for around that need to uh, prepare uh, webinars and uh, around that uh, behavior around that psychology behavior of your target customer uh, lead clicks and the and the custom clicks can be measured through the buying journey of the customer for better lead scoring uh, for implementing uh, effective uh, lead scoring, it is also very important to keep on refining the content. So when you are uh, keep on refining, personalizing, writing more of personalized emails, these drives better lead scores. So when you have put up a lead scoring mechanism throughout your marketing and sales funnel, uh, these uh, content modifications and content refinement and refinement of the evergreen content are always required. Uh, here are a couple of uh, couple of lead uh, score calculations which our team has put up we have uh, you can calculate the your customers lead scores uh, how they are performing you can uh, put up a uh, whole of the lead scores when to uh, pass them through the funnel and when to uh, pass them to the leads uh, lead to the sales funnel then uh, determine uh, when they are going to be closed when uh, there are loopholes so both the marketing and sales team usually discuss to uh, to up in the holes uh, out there from the sales funnel then these are some of uh, uh, some of the lead score methods uh, where you can put the leads as hot or as warm uh, you can set a uh, whole of the lead scores to make uh, to mark some of the leads as hot or some of the leads as cold uh, you can set up criteria to pass a lead uh, who can become customer you can uh, list down the similarities of uh, the leads if uh, certain leads are showing similar behaviors you should always put them into a hot or cold leads uh, so these kind of markups so you should be uh, doing for the incoming leads uh, so these are some of the uh, lead uh, scoring uh, practices which can be done which can be implemented using uh, heretic pinpoint kind of application which our our company is dealing in and uh, uh, this is my profile out here so you could see we have uh, pretty much of uh, lead scoring mechanism or lead scoring practices which can be implemented for incoming leads visitors for effective closure of deals from the sales funnel so uh, this is from my end uh, sonika i hope uh, uh, this session is going to drive us a better knowledge about uh, how the lead scoring works and how the lead scoring mechanism can be put on use by sales and marketing team yeah uh, we have some questions um, from amit he's asking that what kind of software can be used for the um and just a minute yeah what kind of software can be used for the same for lead scoring uh, yeah so uh, there are different software which you can use for lead scoring but mostly uh, the kind of applications which we prefer is it should be having 
having multi-channel application you should be having omni-channel and content management ability and top of that lead scoring um, lead scoring concepts can be implemented to score the leads to uh, measure the leads how they are moving across the marketing and sales funnel so uh, application like Arctic pinpoint which we are having is completely capable of uh, uh, measuring uh, the effective uh, lead scoring for all of the visitors, all of the contacts and leads and the prospects coming into the funnel. Yeah. I hope uh, this answers my question. I hope Amit, you get the answer what you're looking for. Uh, is there a lead? One more question he want to ask. Is there a lead tracking? Um, is there a lead tracking mechanism which seamlessly con connect to chat call softwares? Yes. So, uh, for example, uh, you can see today we have uh, many different software application vendors like uh, uh, chatbots, like live chats, and uh, whole of uh, whole of the ecosystem data ecosystem is fragmented. This is where uh, this is where application like Aritic Pinpoint uh, pitch in with all the capabilities and ability to track uh, whole of the lead scores across different. Uh, interactions even if they are having interaction on chatbot or any live chat application you can score these leads yeah correct so guys if you have any any other question uh, you can uh, put down your question in the chat box and uh, we will be answering it so jeremy is asking the cost uh, we will be emailing you or uh, uh, texting you personally or if you want to say, say the call you can uh, uh, browse our uh, website uh, aritic.com and you can uh, see our software and the pricing page and uh, Jatin wants to ask uh, he didn't get the uh, name of the software is it Jatin? I didn't catch the name of the software is it you want to know the name of the software it's Aritic dot. It's Aritic. Aritic pinpoint. Is it right, Ankit sir? Yes. So we have a couple of more questions from Stephanie. Of what is explicit and implicit lead scoring? So explicit and ex implicit lead scorings are mostly based on uh, based on the behavior and the detail uh, which are being captured by the leads and based on that the lead scoring uh, can be done. For example, explicit, explicit behaviors of the lead are like from where they are working, which region they are coming from, which company they are coming from, uh, what is their gender, what is their age. So these are more kind of uh, implicit and explicit lead scoring differences, what is their behavior, what is their behavior, which always is their visiting. So you can differentiate all these implicit and explicit behaviors along two different uh, wide categories. Yeah. Omkeshwar want to ask how differentiated is this product compared to a similar tracking products? So how um, additive can be used as a comparison of similar tracking product if we used? Uh, yeah, so uh, many of our customers compare our product ecosystem with the HubSpot, uh, Oracle Aleppo, and then uh, and then Salesforce Pirate. So these are equally competing uh, product with within the market where we could see uh, a lot of customers have been uh, have been coming over Aritic migrating from uh, these competing ecosystems and using our product ecosystem to uh, engage with their leads, score their leads and convert their leads effectively. So uh, here is one more question from Stephanie. So who asked the, why they choose us? It is more dependent on their choice and the features which we have on our platform and how we are serving and managing all of our customers. So everyone uh, doesn't have only one single choice, uh, which can tell you why uh, why uh, why somebody has migrated to our platform. Some of the reason like we have better capabilities to track across. Some have uh, reason got covered, uh, like uh, they had been using HubSpot to, to study about whole of implementation of marketing automation and lead scoring mechanisms, and they have migrated from there to us. Some of them has very different reasons where they do not get some of the features which they want to use uh, very exclusively with us. So these are very valid uh, reasons which varies. So one uh, Jatin Chabra is asking, are you are we doing a case study on how Eretic is implementing lead scoring? 
and how this course are distributed across various channel prospects and lead take uh, yeah so yes so we we are also we keep on refining our inbound marketing team keep on refining these lead scoring mechanisms uh, based on the behavior so for example we always look upon what kind of customers go down the funnel and convert from the sales team we always study uh, what kind of customers are are going out of the funnel and why they are they have uh, fallen out of the funnel and uh, find out the similarities and based on that we do uh, we do put on positive and negative for lead scores based on uh, these their behaviors and their actions yeah and does the size of database affect the costing for your products uh most of the time aritic products are mostly priced in two ways uh, one is the kind of uh, number of uh, contacts uh, which customers are uh, using our system and the number of users who are going to use our platforms so these are two ways our platforms are usually charged mm. you want to add some something to it sir uh, it's some extra point to all the um, Uh, lead scoring and uh, how uh, we can do better uh, as compared to the other thing we have we have a better feature or something a uh, better feature like uh, lead scoring how we can uh, optimize the leads management and how we can use it in the better form um, the database as per the size uh, of yeah the so uh at looking at the database how our platform uh, performs is uh, uh, first is managing the contacts and then uh, managing the segments and then uh, followed by that our product ecosystem enables you to track and lead a score where we have uh, different methods to keep on track of uh, the lead behavior when they are interacting with our uh, digital ecosystem or your digital ecosystem uh, our uh, tracking capabilities are far better than any of the competing products where we have implemented browser fingerprint based tracking then uh, gif fallback tracking and then we have also implemented uh, javascript and uh, cookie based tracking where uh, our applications are very well prepared even uh, when uh, we have in 2022 google chrome uh, cookie a cookie apocalypse is coming so we are uh, very well prepared even before uh, any kind of browser implements any of uh, the tracking methods so uh, that is where we uh, come in uh, really good our product ecosystem yep yeah yeah thank you uh, does your solution there's one question from nikhil does your solution help organization buyer build buyer persona for lead scoring uh our solution yes our on uh, on our platform and our solution you can build the persona uh, our partners are really happy to help you out on on building ideal buyer persona if you need any help from uh, from the industry leading experts or industry leading partners so they always help you out in building ideal persona for your target audience is from the market so these are uh, these are the kind of persona lead scoring mechanisms they build on heretic product ecosystem yeah. uh, jatin is giving uh, example uh, so he's saying uh, so for example what score does aritic assign to a lead that reads a blog maybe one versus uh, get in touch lead that comes through the linkedin campaign maybe seven yeah so uh, jatin uh, on uh, aritic platform you it is completely open you have to define uh, all these scores based on uh, what score you want to put up based on what point how much point you want to put on for certain leads and based on that our application platform keeps on working uh, based on the interactions if they are interacting with linkedin campaigns based upon your choice you can put up uh, these lead scores also since these lead scores also depends on at what stage they are into according to your business you can define these lead scores uh, uh, completely independently rather than we being forcing to put up only certain lead scores for certain behavior so uh, application is completely open where you, you can put up your own mechanism to keep track of these lead scores yeah. <clears throat> nikhil is asking uh, does your solution track ip addresses for tracking Uh, yes so our application tracks ip address our application tracks uh, the visitors and the uh, and the contact those who have submitted their detail uh, through ip addresses through cookie based uh, methods 
through uh, browser-based fingerprinting. So these a uh, couple of these methods they keep on using to track your target leads into your funnel. Great. Uh, so someone, uh, Jatin is again asking that, how you go about lead, lead scoring for your own prospects? Well, so uh, how we put up the lead scoring method for our own leads, uh, if we look at, we are SaaS product company and we have multiple of products around the ecosystem. So we have put up various models for lead scoring. Very first, we, uh, as soon as any of the leads to register on our website, it, it, it it gets divided into into according to the product segments and then based on the product segments lead scoring starts working on for example if somebody has visited a pricing page a feature page then there is uh, or there is different points that gets assigned to these leads if somebody is visiting our application pages after registration they, they get a scored in a different way if somebody is also visiting our documents and trying to uh, and uh, trying to start our application on their website or trying to put up uh, any of the application scripts or trying to upload any of the contacts, then all the lead scores are being done in different way. So uh, since we are SaaS product company, we have put up all these lead scoring out there. If they are writing any email to our sales team, then they get extra points. If the sales team keeps on getting reply then again they are getting uh, more points if they are not interacting or they are not coming back to the website for three months or uh, three weeks then the negative scoring starts happening so this is one of the example which our team has put up across uh, for scoring the leads those who are coming on our platform yeah so uh, thank you for all the questions uh, guys if you have any other questions um you can put your questions over here in the chat box and we will be answering it. Is there any other questions you want to ask? Okay, so one question is there. Would the following companies offering will be similar to your yours active campaign, Sharp Spring and Marketing 360 Marketing Fiber? Yeah, so if if we compare uh, along with this ecosystem, I would say that the whole of the product which we are offering uh, are on different requirements and different uh, uh, different perspective altogether where they are solving the problems. For example, we have chatbots uh, where we could see uh, other of the product competitors do not have all these features. We have uh, we have uh, deck, uh, we have uh, Aritic disk which other product ecosystem doesn't have a support service desk or any uh, sales pipeline kind of application where the sales team uses uh, for sales closures. Uh, so these are the differences which we are having as of today on Heretic. And we could see uh, these differentiators and keeping all data in single solace and then helping uh, marketers to build a whole of customer experience on the product ecosystem that brings a lot of difference and help us stand out altogether from any of these competitors. Yeah. Great, great. Uh... One more thing, one more question is there. Does Aritic enable omni-channel marketing with the most B2C startup focusing on hyper-presentation? How does Aritic enable that as well? Uh, yeah, so uh, B2C, uh, so if we look up on Aritic ecosystem, we have the omni-channel capability where, we, where you can uh, put up omni-channel orchestration, including email, SMS, post notification, even the ads, where you can use but uh, looking at the personalization and hyper personalization it completely depends on how different marketing teams are operating uh, operating the application platform for their end customers it completely depends on on how much do you track your customers for hyper personalization in case of b2c and b2b if we could see uh, both b2b and b2c uh, today face challenges in terms of personalization automation uh, this is where our application platform helps you bring in a more of hyper personalization. Yeah, I uh, hope Sanjo, you got your answer. What you're looking for, uh, Tariq, want to ask you that: Do you integrate with ERP platforms, and do you have an open a APIs? 
Uh, yeah, so Heretic has REST API, uh, which is open, and uh, we have integrations available with a couple of ERP uh, ERP platforms. Uh, probably uh, our sales team would be the right team who can help you out on all these answers, and they can connect you with uh, our uh, API engineering team who can uh, help you get the integration and get it started. Yeah. So uh, I think so. We have answered most of the uh, questions related to uh, lead scoring and how we can use it efficiently, how we can manage our leads, and uh, yeah, I think so. We have covered all the things, Angi sir. Uh, yes. So I think there is a couple of questions that has come in Q and A, and uh, here we have one anonymous question. Uh, coming from one of the attendees, are there any opportunities to work with your organization as it help candidates to learn from you? Mm -hmm. So yes, we have a lot of opportunities available to join across different teams. We have many different openings, but during this lockdown period, uh, I would enable you to help get in touch with our HR team. Our HR team is available at hr at dataages.com so they can help you uh, with relevant openings yes so yes yeah. there is no more question i can see if you guys have any other questions or we have few more minutes if you have some more questions you can drop down your questions here so yeah so i think so we have covered and uh, we have answered all the questions which they want us to answer okay so i think so um, we are done with the webinar we are one done with the topic and answering questions thank you guys uh, for joining us thank you guys for uh, sharing your thoughts there you are sharing your questions and hope we answered all your questions out here and um, yeah you are uh, most welcome to join our other webinar which will be coming soon and we will be notifying you for that same and uh, yeah i hope you join us uh, more in the upcoming webinar thank you guys yep thank you everyone thank you sonika for hosting me today so uh, we'll be coming up our team will be coming up with more webinars more concept based webinars uh, i could see we have a lot of questions coming from heretic where we have uh, a plan to put up a lot of discussion around lead scoring and uh, we could see uh, we are going to come up with more concept based webinars where we will be helping out everyone to implement the concept wherever you are using uh, these concept implementations through different of the applications ecosystem and we are going to help you out our team is going to help you out on editing products thank you thank you everyone take care